Watching a majestic parade of whales migrating by or discovering the stunning array of marine creatures thriving beneath the surface, it's easy to understand the urgency of protecting our Bay Area coastline. But now, researchers believe there is another powerful reason, one that could be critical in the fight against climate change. So I think what's most significant about the seafloor is that it is the final resting place of carbon. It's kind of the ultimate um, carbon reservoir on the planet. Sarah Hutto is climate change coordinator with the Greater Farallons Association. She's also part of a research team documenting what they call carbon hotspots, often muddy stretches of ocean floor where huge amounts of carbon settle, preventing it from being released into the atmosphere as a greenhouse gas. Much of the work was done at the Greater Farallons Cordell Bank National Marine Sanctuaries. So this study is just one piece of that to say, hey, the seafloor holds a lot of carbon. It's constantly accumulating carbon. And a piece of our climate strategy to be should be to ensure that that can keep taking place. First, it helps to understand that even muddy areas of the seabed are teeming with life. That marine life is also a source of the organic material, or ocean carbon, that ultimately settles on the seabed. And researchers argued that managing those sections of seafloor correctly could help that natural carbon sequestered. So that's certainly a conversation for uh, decision makers. Co-author Doug George is an ocean scientist with NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. He acknowledges that coastal areas are also attractive for industries like offshore wind farms, ocean wave power, oil drilling, and offshore mining, and that governments may need to work to strike a healthy balance. Anything that is disturbing the seafloor is going to move that sediment potentially back up into the water. The team is working to create a kind of blueprint to help countries around the world to identify carbon hotspots along their own coastlines and perhaps begin the process of better protecting them. So that they can better understand how their decisions um, for the coastline and for the seafloor can be informed by where these carbon hotspots are. A new focus on a powerful natural solution in the age of climate change. Drew Tuma, ABC 7 News.